Answers of an Alien from Andromeda, Video 150, April 1, 2017 Mythy Words Hi my friends, our fleet had to show participation in the implementation of several bases that, as you know, are being finalized in all the continents of the planet. The CB is not much to talk about, but it seems that he has had many problems too and during this period there were many mismatches of dates in which we could talk. But it seems that everything is normalizing again. I am now going to answer the questions. Mythy, do you know about the lost city or invisible city of Byringwen? Thank you in advance. J. Came, Lawn. I can tell you this is just a legend. There are no multidimensional cities in this and no other region on this planet. Someone may have seen a large spaceship informally and generated this legend that has lasted from generation to generation. Mythy, we are all in the third dimension, and we are only temporarily in the fourth. Knowledge and experience gained will be printed in your gene. What kind of knowledge and experience gained will be printed in our genes? And how can the printed information from our genes go to the 4D when the dead body remains in 3D? Those genes changing take place only in 4D while frequency or vibration of aura takes place in 3D? Polly, all your development, be it auric or scientific is directly recorded directly in your consciousness, which is the fourth dimension biomass installed in your physical body of the third dimension, is what gives you life. Depending on the baggage you develop it will always be available to your spirit and when reincarnated this luggage will be added in your genes as an impression of the fourth in the third dimension. Therefore, genetic changes created in the third dimension must first be quantically embedded in fourth dimensional parameters to become effective, so genetic modifications created in the third dimension without this foundation are ephemeral and simply cease to exist at the end of their natural cycle, returning to the original previous state. Mythy, the physical pole shift started on December 11, 2016 and up to now it has reached 20 or 4 degrees shift. In this context when will it reach its maximum and stop? Jerry and Toter, you continue to question forecasting and dates. First, the physical pole shift did not start on December 11, 2016, it has always been moving in relation to the imaginary axis of rotation of the planet. The fact that the physical pole has started a more pronounced migration you know that it is due to the fact that the crust tends to reposition itself with respect to the magnetic poles of the nucleus. In order to improve the level of prediction of these migrations, it is necessary to take into account the regions of the crust that maintain large deposits of metallic ores that also react directly with the geomagnetic field of the planet, and this implies in hundreds of variables that influence the repositioning of the crust. Look at the migration graphs of the magnetic poles and verify a correlation with physical pole repositioning graphs, from there you can get an idea of the trend and timing in an approximate way. Mythy, you mentioned some time back that our sun would go through processes and emit a new type of unknown radiation. Has this occurred? Are we experiencing symptoms of exposure? Can you also update us on some of the crew line's actions regarding the sun? Thank you. Degas, many of you have noticed changes in your sun such as the emission of a wider than normal luminosity. This is due to the fact that the increase in the beat frequency that has undergone the change by passing the system to another level status. The light of the suns represents the source of life of their respective planetary systems and the life in the different systems develops adapted to their respective levels of luminosity and solar emanations. The crew lines try to protect the colonies and the systems against the random effects of their respective suns, which could cause catastrophes and even deforestation in the colonies and planted in the orbiting planets. In the case of this system, the priority of protection is your planet because it is the only one colonized until then. As other planets' systems are already in case of colonization, like Mars and in preparation phase like Venus, their work certainly must have increased. Taos do not need protection but will have to adapt to a fixed orbit on the system very soon. The images of the giant power of the force fields used for planet traction, 
Toxic gas cleaning and atmospheric preparation in full scale and in real time you can observe in these images from the Venus operation, that you have achieved in your observing satellites. Mainly crew lines, but also Aldebarans and Arturians have monstrous equipment to perform great missions. Mythy, what have other worlds done to mark their day of contact? What celebration did they have and what name has been reoccurring if any? Any examples? Kelly, each race has its way of marking its days of celebrations, in the case of the first contact with interplanetary races many cultures have come to call that day as, Ascension Day, and is celebrated in most of them as, the day that their society managed due for deserving friendship and integration. Mythy, I just want to know what is the difference between brain activation, DNA activation, and level of frequency. What are the relationships of these three concepts? Can you elaborate to us, Mithy? Thank you. J. Everything is interrelated, a chain reaction if you prefer. The frequency level favors defining the level of society that will inhabit a certain planet. The possibility of brain activation is inherent to the level of frequency provided by the medium, which in turn makes the necessary genetic changes and adds new peculiarities to the DNA of those born in these environments. Mythy, under the sea people have a defense against infections, or at least a healing system? They are advanced and been around for ages. What type of home or shelter they have built, social customs, way of life, government, their view of us from the dry land? I wonder if they have decorating items, like shells, corals and artifacts from ships? Kelly, these races of amphibious humanoids did not develop very technologically. They are a very singular development segment, almost elemental. They do not interact very often, neither with the Arthurian. They are races that have remained as your present indigenous, living in tribes alone and have no specific interest in relating to races of the surface considered by them as aggressive and violent. They use common tools such as spears, and many bronze and stainless steel artifacts from wrecks. They enjoy a lot of glass objects for decoration mixed with marine objects. Instead of technology they have developed a telepathic system of communication between them, with little or no sound they can talk to each other without any problem. They usually live in natural caves that they adapt to the necessary comfort for the members of the tribe. And some are very beautiful places. They hardly get sick, and when it happens the causes are the pollution of the seas by heavy metals, radiation and litter kindly provided by the people of the surface. Mythy, can you give us some details why Mars has a big scratch that looks like it was caused by a very large object? J. The great slit seen on Mars was the result of a natural event. When Mars had cooled that crack appeared and was partially flooded with lava that many millions of years ago. If it were not for the water to cover your oceans, you would find that there are also very similar scars here, also caused by the very nature of the planet. The launch of the SpaceX rocket February 18, 2017, was aborted just 13 seconds before the launch and delayed for 24 hours. Dear Mythy, can we SpaceX or NASA detect ET probes? And that is the reason for the delay? like the ones disabling previous SpaceX rocket. As to avoid disablement if explosives were on board? See Tiber, I personally do not believe that they would risk resources to try to transport material that certainly would not reach its destination. Probes can be detected but cannot be detained for anything your military can have, so it would be unlikely to keep trying to deceive them. Most of these probes are programmed by the Pleiadians and work according to the directives their artificial intelligences contain, and within their limitations they can decide what to do without anyone having to decide for them. The most logical thing about this incident is that there was some technical problem that needed a solution. Mythy, our scientists discovered new solar system which is 39 light years from us and has seven Earth-like planets orbiting the Sun. The system's name is TRAPPIST-1. Are the planets habitable, if yes, by what people, what are they like, and what level are they? Taddy and Ro, in a radius of 39 light years from here there is a system very similar to this one, 
that was recently terraformed. Its star is weak, but will be very active for a few billion years. These planets were colonized by several humanoid races, and some of the planets are with very similar societies to yours, to where the zero and below levels are being transferred from here, coincidentally. Only the planet of the third orbit contains a civilization originating from Boots Arcturus Level 3, who are the manners of the system. Mithy, can you give any information about those symbols, please? What civilizations used them? Are they still in use today? Eerie, thousands of ships of independent scientific expeditions circulated here in these many thousands of years, each with a symbol or with several of them. These symbols are not from any recent fleet that maintains regular visits to the planet. It's similar to the badges you use on your missions, each one is different and there are still many parallel versions for each of them. If there were any dates or original references for each of them, they could be identifiable. Mithy, I hope your crew knows how much we appreciate them following what feels right in their hearts, and turning the other cheek when this all began. Are there any other of your crew members who would like to communicate with us, and or can you share anything else about them like names and backgrounds and how they feel about these ongoing communications all these years later? C. Shiner, other crew members would have no plausible reason for any contact. I escaped by a thread because I'm a behavioral scientist, and that justified everything. As I already mentioned before. Names would be a waste of time because the sound would be written differently in each of your dialects and languages, even mine. Our crew is a constant of 18 members and two more guests in training sporadically. We have an engineer, two girls medical and six operators to controlling external activities all from Manchuk, two Renians Grays as our navigators, two molecular programmers from Boots, a girl nutrition coordinator girl from Sirius and five probe operators originating from Colonies Pleiadian. But everyone is prepared with the basics of the other posts, in case they have to replace any of the members in an emergency situation. What I can say is that they show a lot of interest in following my reports and impressions about the development mainly of this group with whom I have interacted for some good years. Mithy can you confirm the existence of a space travel tech of some races, based on expanding the interatomic space of the ship up to the distance approximately 10,000 kilometers between each atom, and then concentrating them again in a location of any of the dispersed atoms of the ship, and crew of course? Yurish, this is a rather bizarre theory. The atoms of matter have a minimum distance to maintain the molecule's coefficients, and this would incur in disassembling the molecules and reassembling them and for each there would have to be a great formulation so that this could happen. Imagine a ship with all the different materials that compose it, and the biological material of the crew. Not to mention all the external material in the space that would be interacting with the same space occupied by the process. Our molecular programmers will have fun with this theory for sure. The portal process is much more effective and functional than a theory of molecular disaggregation at this level. The teleportation system itself, whether biological or not, works with a theory of molecular transport similar to the portals, with the difference that they can be directed to the element whose signature was previously transmitted to the system. So as a conclusion, I can say that no known race uses or has ever thought of using this strange theory. Mithy. What are the names of all the specific mentors that the Earth has in relation with our regional population? How are the relations between them? Is there any precedent in cooperation of races linked to the Earth Cosmopolitan Population Project? Can you illustrate us how will be the guidance and integration knowing that we have not one but several grandmother races? Abraham, the ancient concept of each race taking over its seeds has already ended in this passage to level 1. When the Earth is admitted into the galactic community all 87 breeds forming this regional unit will be your mentors. All willing to assist the society of this new partner planet in its next development step. In this new stage, forget the frontier, forget ethnicities, everyone without exception will be treated as inhabitants of planet Earth without distinction. Of course, many ethnicities will have to be much more elaborate than others but they will have many great stepmothers striving to make this integration. Even because, 
There has already been a great mix between many original breeds and now the situation is quite different. All equal in rights and opportunities will be the goal of all races for the inhabitants of the earth. When one manages to climb a step, he is able to help those on the bottom step up. The great error generated by the ego to be overcome is to think that because he is on the step above he is better than the others and should dictate rules according to their own convictions. Do not wait for masters, be masters of your own consciences. I hope to see you all very soon again. Be safe.